Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I hope you guys are doing okay during this whole coronavirus saga because it is, you know, it's a trying time right now in the world for, for many people and, and, their, and their mental health and sanity. So, you know, we got to get through it and make the best of, of it how we can. But listen, coronavirus, no coronavirus, there is no shortage of craziness going on in the world of boxing. Now, this one right here, this, this story right here, is absolutely insane absolutely insane it's, it's, it, it's a story we've seen many times in sports but um you know it's happening once more so as you guys can see by the title you know i want to take my damn shoes off because i was just outside as you guys can see by the title donna stevenson's mother has is suing uh his ex fiance his ex-wife over money that was allegedly taken from his bank account so listen the plot thickens we've, we've seen this many times in boxing where a woman can be the ruination of a fighter. You know, we've seen it with Mike Tyson, Robin Gibbons. We've seen it with uh, Muhammad Ali's had multiple wives, and he's had, and he's had prob problems. We've, we've seen it with Shane Mosley and his wife getting all of his title belts. You know, we, we've seen many, many cases of this in boxing, but this, this is the latest case. So let's get into the article. It's on BoxingScene.com, so shout out to the fine folks at BoxingScene.com. Here's what they said. They said, they said he, he, right here, right here in this, right here in, in uh, hold on, this part right here, all right? We'll highlight. We'll highlight it so you guys can see it. For those of you who uh, who can't read, or you know, F, we won't. We won't highlight it. You just read it on the screen. It says former WBC heavyweight champion Adonis Stevenson has not made any public statements on the matter, but it's been revealed that his mother filed a lawsuit on his behalf against the boxer's former fiance slash wife Simone God. The lawsuit is alleging that God, which is funny, that God withdrew eight hundred ninety-one thousand dollars from the boxer's personal account without permission, and Stevenson and God appear to have split in December. Um, Stevenson's promoter, Yapa Michelle, conducted an interview with TVA Sports and said that the former champion will soon present his version of the facts, saying, I quote, what I can tell you is that Adonis is fine. He will be, he was well surrounded and advised and he will soon make a public statement to present his point of view on the situation. Simone God said many things from her perspective. Adonis will now be able to uh, give his version of it. Uh, Adonis is not in the street. He has a lot of money, but not enough for the rest of his life. In the past year, there has been a significant leakage of money, but the gap is now closed. Uh, then went on by saying that, just basically going on and going into how he went into his coma. As many of you know, Adonis Stevenson fought Alexander Vazdik in December of 2018 and got folded up and, and, and got his ass whooped. And then, uh, and then he eventually wound up getting a coma. And then uh, he, was in, he was in a coma for a couple of weeks. He woke up later on. By February of 2019, he had moved to the medical facility in Montreal to continue receiving his treatment. And then he went home to finish his rehab. So let's dissect this piece by piece, brick by brick here on True School Sports because there is a lot to unpack. Now, first first thing and first observation I must make immediately is it says right here, it says right here in this last sentence, it says right here, it says that Stevenson and, and uh, uh, Simone God appear to have split in early December. So you see you see what it says right there, right? So there's, they split in early December. And in early December was when he got his brains beaten in and when he was into a coma. So you mean to tell me while this guy was in a coma, they split? So, so something something's not something's not adding up there. Um, they broke up in the middle of, of, of a bad brain injury. I mean, because look, he didn't wake up, all right? He didn't wake up until about February 20, 2019 because he was induced in a coma for several weeks. And he didn't wake up until, 20, until February, February 2019. So how the hell is she going to break up with somebody who's in a coma? So that, that that's not adding up. And then when you when you factor in that she the, the 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 claim from his mother is that she allegedly the lawsuit is that she allegedly took eight hundred and ninety one thousand dollars from his personal account. I mean, listen, that's a pretty damn specific number. That's a very specific number. And if they broke up in December, early December of that year, of uh, you know while he was uh, while he had basically was in a coma. Then it makes sense for for, for her to, to sense that maybe hey maybe the end was near maybe she felt like he was never gonna box again which is very true he's not gonna box again the the, the six figure checks uh, aren't gonna be coming in like they used to the seven figure checks aren't gonna be coming in like they used to so guess what she might have to take a hit in her lifestyle and maybe and maybe maybe she took it upon herself to say you know what I'm getting the f out of here I'll go find a man who's able bodied I'm not sticking with this man for no reason and uh, I'll, I'll I'll take this as a parting shot while he while he's uh. While he's in a coma, nobody will ever say anything about him. Now, many of you may be asking, who is this CC guy we speak of? So let's go over her Instagram account. Let's go to her. Over, let's go over to her Instagram page. Because listen, I, I 
I know very well about Mrs. CC God. So look, this is her Instagram page. All right, so boom, you can tell she's, you know, she's a fashion designer, business coach, entrepreneur. So she's one of those business career oriented women. You know, she's she's what they would call one of those strong and independent women. And you know, and I'm only I'm only speaking personally for me, just just because because you know I'm, I'm I like to think at least that I'm I'm somewhat smart for my age. Okay. These women are the most. I'm not. I'm not gonna blanket all of them, but I would say the lion's share of these types of women are some of the worst and most vile women to be in a relationship with, because these are the kind of women that don't believe in gender roles and they believe in these false equality and all this nonsensical stuff. And then when shit hits the fan, when the barbarian comes knocking at the door, and, 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 and you know you're, they're better halves. You know, seven-figure checks, six-figure checks aren't coming in, and they know that they want to go and pull some BS like this. So look, I'm not there. I don't know what happened, but um, I'm just saying, based on what I'm reading, that it adds up. I, I can conclude. I listen, based on, re, reading between the lines, I, I believe that she took the money. I, I really do. I really do. Now, if she was like a regular, like traditional type woman, maybe maybe I would I'd be um, more inclined to believe that she wouldn't have done this. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave my views out of it, but let, let's go to her last Instagram post. This is her last Instagram post. Um, it's a picture of her and Adonis Stevenson, as you can see. And she basically wrote a whole letter. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to read the whole post for you guys. But basically, like, as you can see, like, she wrote a whole thing here, you know, and it's not just no short letter. I mean, it's, it's a freaking long, long, long letter. I mean, you, you got to keep swiping to your right to, to finish this letter. And I, I, I read it all. And basically, to, to sum it up as best as I can, she basically said that that um, the, his family, her, um, his mother, who we never had some sort of great connection with, conspired against her, and has taken her to court, and is keeping him from 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 the daughter, and and that it's ruining their marriage and it's ruining their relationship, and and she's encouraging and urging the media on and urging the people on to, uh, if they see Adonis, to let him know that to let let him know that their daughter is in need of him and his uh, presence in her life. So, I mean, listen. Listen, when women like this, like, look, I, I, I don't know her, so God bless her. I don't know her, but I'm just giving my opinion. Women like CC God are extremely, extremely, extremely high maintenance. I mean, look, I know it says not to judge a book by its cover, but everybody does it. So let, let's not, let's not, let's not, um, let's not call it, let's not pretend like not everybody's doing this. Okay. She's in the fashion world. Okay. She's, you can tell she's definitely high maintenance. You can tell she's definitely career oriented and business oriented and a lot of times what comes with these types of women is a lot of um, high maintenance you know uh, a lot of problems a lot of stress a lot of um questionable parts of their character you see what i'm saying so i just find the timing of this so odd i, I find the timing i find the timing of his money uh going missing from his account so odd because okay if it had happened earlier in their marriage, that, that okay then, uh, you know I wouldn't be as suspicious. But the fact that it happened not so long after he got into a coma, while he couldn't really do anything, while he's not even here, um, it leads me to believe that you know she could sense that the end that, that the end was near for his boxing career. Seven figures checks were not coming in, and she had to get what she could to get out of it because listen. And 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 th this th this is just a, th this is reality. This is female nature, okay, for all guys out there. Women are always going to prioritize themselves and their security above all else. You know, you can you can hate me for saying that, but it's reality, all right. They're all about self preservation, okay. So this is her idea of self preservation, and this is a big reason why I I, I always when I when I talk to fighters, especially young fighters who have money in boxing. You know, when I talk to them behind the scenes, I always tell them, like, be very careful with what women you allow in your life. You know, and I, 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 I there, there's a couple of fighters, I'm not going to name them, but there's a couple of fighters that I know personally that I've warned. I've personally warned them about these types of women, these 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 these, these uh, career oriented, so so called independent women that you know, quote unquote, have their own money because these are the kind of women where there's gonna that, that are gonna cause lots of confusion. These are the kind of women that are going to um, try to try to constantly demean you as a man. And these are the kind of women that are going to claim uh, being strong and independent. But when the barbarian is at the door and shit hits the fan, then they want to be feminine, feminine type women again. And, and, and it just causes all kinds of types of confusion. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm old fashioned. I believe in gender roles. I believe that a dog is a dog. A cat is a cat. A man is a man. A woman is a woman. 
and you know that's that, that that's just my two cents on the matter but um all I can do is pray for Adonis Stevenson because this seems like a very tough situation I mean I know people a lot of people are joking about the whole situation stating that it's pretty hilarious that this is happening to, to Adonis Stevenson because he has a pretty checkered past you know back in the day he used to I guess pimp out women and whatnot and he went to court in 2001 for it and then he did some time for it but listen that was what 19 years ago and are we gonna really uh hold something so something that happened 19 years ago against somebody i mean i don't personally know adonis stevenson but i mean the guy has seemed to have turned his life around a bit since 2001 you know he's been the wbc heavyweight champion of the world he's been involved in some big time fights uh, made a good living for himself made a good wage for himself um, i don't know what i don't know what i don't know what goes on with him personally but i'm just saying like uh, i don't know the man and I'm not going to be one of those people that that, that that just kicks into the curb because he did something bad 20 years ago. You know, you see what I'm saying? So uh, it's definitely something we're going to be following here on True School Sports because it's a slow, it's, 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 it's a slow new cycle in boxing. And, um, you know, this is just too interesting not to cover. You know, it's, 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 the, it's, it's that same story in sports again. You know, you, you get these hypergamous... These hypergamous women that that are after their self, their own self interest and own benefits, and they and they don't want to be wives. They don't want to be wives. So, you know, CC God, I never really uh, liked how she. I I was never really a fan of her as a as 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 far as what she put out on Instagram. She just seemed to be your prototypical business career high career oriented high maintenance woman in her mid thirties, and that's exactly what she's proven to be. So that being said, that's my thoughts on the matter. You can give me yours down in the comments down below. Uh, before we end the video, shameless plug, this is my Instagram account, so just a kid from Dania. If you want to get in touch with me, if you want to give me any sort of video ideas or talk boxing with me or even tell me that I don't know shit about boxing, you can tell me that direct on Instagram because I'm always on Instagram. So go follow me there. I'm always posting interesting stuff on Instagram and I'm always easy to get a hold of on Instagram. Probably a lot easier to get a hold of on there than I am on here. So if you want to get a hold of me, Instagram is the way to go. But like, like I say in every single one of these videos, okay, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding, Daniel. So until next time, take care.